the sound of the sea dish, I got a found a sound engineer and we adapted a box I think you used to plug your guitar into. And then headphones, mic, eat things, send the signal into the box and sends it back and you could change the sound. So popping candy goes crazy if you li you're listening to it crackle in your mouth. Um, but you could change it, so you put like a flange on it and it's doing, 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 doing. That was just good fun. <laughs> this is an excuse for some kind of very clumsy experiment. Um, but then from there we led to using sound for, because context is incredibly important, so snail porridge is all about context. Change the name of the dish, become something completely different. So uh, st I started playing, I just thought, I, I can't remember where the idea came from, the oyster, um, yeah, just playing a sound, just listening to, to a soundtrack, a, a soundscape, um, so we did that, and the thing with Sound of the Sea, if I, just, if I showed you a photograph of a seaside scene, that would be the photograph, unless it was the exact image that you have in your head of where you went to as a kid, it wouldn't have the same effect, but listening to the waves lapping up against the shore, most of us have, ha have heard that somewhere in our lives, it's enough of an, it's all about something called nudging. You just, if you can just nudge people, that's it. Not, you don't turn them into lab rats, that's not the point of this. It's just a little nudge. So you can, so you have this ability to lose yourself in, 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 a, in a memory that's triggered by food. In this case, the sound does that perfectly. <laughs> 